Okay, here's a sequence of operation for furnace heaters. I'm gonna jump the W wire with the R. So that's 24 volt going to heat. And now inducer motor turned on. I replaced the inducer motor just now. This is the old one. Somebody else took it out and probably they couldn't figure it out. So they called me no heat. Now igniter turned on. After igniter, fire turns on. But there's some other operation that happens when the inducer motor turns on. This pipe is coming out of the inducer motor box. It pulls air from the pressure sensor, pressure sensor closes up. Once that's closed, then these two wires get continuity. Transfers the 24 volt wire to the board and it tells the board that the inducer motor is on. That's how the board knows inducer motor is on. If the inducer motor turns off, there will be no air pulling from here. The pressure switch will open and release, uh, uh, cut the 24 volt, the whole system will turn off. Now there, the fan turned on. It has a timer after it heats up, gives it a few seconds and the fan turns on. So there you go. First, inducer motor, pressure switch closes, continuity, then igniter, glows, and then after that, a gas valve gets 20, 24 volt, and it turns on the gas to the distributors, and that's how it starts to heat up your home. And then fan turns on afterwards.